Welcome to From the Depths Season 1. Today we play through the Nieder campaign. Um, I've tuned the difficulty a little bit. I'll show a screenshot of what it is. But um, we're playing with the default spawn point. The ship in the background right now is my Valyrian class destroyer. I'll explain that one a little bit later. But um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you all enjoy. First thing I want to do is I'm going to retrofit this guy. Um, to this shipyard. This one actually has a little airport on it. <laughs> and then I want to scrap this guy. Here's a little spy drone. Um, just big antenna on the bottom. Just doing his thing. We're gonna send him out. Let's go ahead and have him Moving capture out. this northern tower. There we go. Now we can see everything. How much are those again? They're only 4k. Go and get a second one. Listening. Just because we can. We can go and capture this Move tower out. to the east. Now we just gotta build up some resource. We need a lot of resource for my smaller my smallest destroyer. It's not cheap. But I think it's fine if we go ahead and find him in, not a cruiser. Can't afford those yet. There we go. Yeah, we can't afford one, but uh Go ahead and start getting him built up. Okay, this northern tile is captured. Let's go out east again. We really need this resource zone. I mean, we can't produce anything right now. Okay, she is done. Let's go ahead and uh, check her out. Here is the Valyrian class destroyer. She has two main guns. I think these are three inch, three inch heat shells. There's that if you're interested. The back here we have some frag missiles, six frag missiles. And then we also have some little tiny frag missiles. I actually want to set these to explosive though. Against the deep water guard. This guy has about 16k now. Let's go ahead and move him up to our border. Now. Hopefully we can go to war against the deep water guard. We really want to fight them first. Okay, we got our new icons. I don't know how I feel about them. May change them actually. We'll keep them for now though. We have about 15, a little bit over 15 minutes left. Getting nervous, we're only gonna have this one ship. If that happens. I might use a couple of small planes I have, but they're not gonna be very effective against anything. I mean, realistically, we only need one ship to take this. And that even. Go ahead and spawn her in. I think we'll make it. We're at 54. She'll get most of the way built. There we go. Okay, the ship is essentially completed. It is completed now. Let's go ahead and get her sailing there. Okay, here we are at the council meeting. So I go to war with everybody for <laughs> six grand. Um, let's just take the deep water guard. That's fair. Oh no, no mats. Give you a quick 10 grand. Low jump start. Back at home here. Let me... Still gonna build a couple planes. Maybe... I'd say... Two is a good amount. It's a logistics drone. Yeah, these... You cost a little bit, 12 grand. Not the cheapest things. Okay, let's go ahead and send our satellites to take some land. These guys are now close enough where we can unite them. So we'll name the first one. This is the DE-01 SNS Valyrian. This one is not the hull number, the first. This is its class, not the hull number. DE-01 SNS John... I can spell. Spell them. Okay. The first two ships, we can go ahead and name this fleet too. It's gonna be called Raider Detachment 01. 
Basically, this whole fleet's purpose is to disrupt enemy supply lines. Pretty simple. Oh, wait, no, I actually got these backwards. You are the Valyrian, also the flagship. You are the John Dalton. Real quick, just for fun. Are you actually bored the Valyrian? If there's any way to put a flag on this guy. Just for fun. Put a flag all the way up here. There we go, now we'll know who the flagship is. That gripper is running off, good. Means we'll have a free shot at this. Also, our plane should be gone. Let's go ahead and refuel these guys. Oh, they're actually not done. We're broke. Give him some commodities real quick. Okay. Don't share with anybody. Let's deploy you guys. I want these guys ready to deploy wherever we need it, like versus this duster. Let's do this fight first. And then we'll have the planes intercept the duster. Let's get them the broadside. Of course, we want to board the Valyrian. Okay, here is the center's outpost. Just some big old crams, uh, APS. And I think that's it. Should be no work for the two Valyrians we have here. So here come in the missiles. Good hits everywhere. Just shredding through everything, especially those big frag missiles. Can't really tell what their heat shells are doing, but <laughs> I'm sure they're doing good. There she goes. Took zero damage, thankfully. Receiving. Moving now. Let's go ahead and pick up this material. We'll uh, have the satellites capture this in just a second. Oh yeah, the dusters. These planes are together, right? I think so. We only need one to take care of a duster, but always nice to overwhelm. They also prefer range, so go as far as we can from them. Have one back here. Give him like a height of 800. Okay. We'll just watch it from his perspective. Can't even see it. Oh, there he is. None of our missiles locked on, thankfully. Love to see that. Watch from the duster's perspective. Should be no problem for that Phoenix. Taking some EMP hits. Yep, both Phoenix is still fine. Another EMP. We don't want these big missiles to hit. Oh, narrow miss. They suck. It looks like they're not locking on very well to the duster. Anyways. Easy one. Neither of you, I'm guessing, have space for that. I don't think they can take care of that grouper, so we'll just leave them there. We can, however, bombard this gantry. Always a good time doing some shore bombardment. Of course, it's aboard the John Dalton, or not the John Dalton, the Valyrian class. So here's our target. We got an Atlas and a um, little turret, a little ground turret. This Atlas should not be up for very much, for uh, too much longer, sorry. I don't know if we've missed the missiles or what. No deal, we don't need them anyway. Already a huge hole in the bottom of it. There's the missiles. There's another hit. Down she goes. Even more missiles coming through. I think we just hit ammo. Not having a good time.
I know heat's not the most effective thing against against the deep water guard, but should be plenty. And I, there's no point in hard countering deep water guard. <laughs> There she goes. She took a little bit to finish it off. She didn't want to go down. Big hits on this thing. Both ships at 99. Should have no problem. Another big missile hit. Aim for another ship. It's one down. I really do wish we had some big 16 inch guns. That would help a lot with this. Cram inbound. Where is it at? There it is. Shot that one down easily, actually. Didn't think we were going to get it. Got that one too. All that's left is some little houses. Again, I could go pirate it, but don't really feel like it. Where's AI? Right here. Doesn't matter. Didn't need to hit it. Where's your AI? Not sure, actually. Why are none of the... Yeah. There she goes. Okay. What's next? I think I'd actually like to go north and around the island. Send our two planes further east and see what's going on. Building up a nice little pile of resources at home. Let the planes come by and get this whenever they need refuel. Nothing really too valuable anyway. Send one plane back to capture that. And one satellite to capture that. The other to capture that. Let's get our destroyers a little bit further off the coast. Better fighting position. Okay, I'm really hoping two destroyers is enough to take care of this. I'm fairly confident, I think, at least I am. Right here, I do believe this is the Gotha. It's just basically a gun with wings. <laughs> this is the Gotha. Um, that is APS. That's missiles. No cram, though. And this is the Wanda, the uh, Cram, I believe. No, I think that's APS. I can't. Oh no, it's an APS barrel with recoil absorbers. So I'm going to say APS. Has some small little missiles. It's pretty cool looking, actually. But I think that's all. I think that's APS. What? Are you? That is APS. I'm trying to get here in time. The Gotha just exploded. He's gone. All that's left is the Wanda. She seems to be getting eaten away too. The Valyrian has taken a lot of damage. But there goes the Wanda. The Valyrian took a shot right there. Lost the top missile launcher. But yeah, nothing we do need to return to port for. This is fine. Let's go ahead and send you straight to the fishing hole. Swordfish is a teeny tiny thing, right? Yeah. Lifting. Lifting. Let's try our interceptors against the swordfish. <laughs> she probably could tell I'm not very confident. Well, there's only one, too. I don't know where the second one is. Let's definitely add our two destroyers into this. I'm just nervous. Getting shot at. Didn't want to pitch up enough to release the missiles there. Oh 
no, we took a hit. Oh no, plane's going down. Bet we had both, we could do it. Ship should be going down. I don't think our missiles are in range. These heat are very ineffective against uh, deep water guard, it seems. Take no time to kill something like this. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be doing much against the Valyrian. There she goes. Okay, we can get this um, fishing coal down. Interrupting the supply lines, doing a great job at it. Hopefully they won't be able to build any type of fleet if we just keep hitting all of their, um, keep hitting all of their gatherers. Here is the fishing hole. Slightly different than what we saw last time, basically the same. Should pose no threat. I wonder if we shoot out these little pillars. <laughs> Will it fall? We can hit them. I think something that small though is not going to be easy. I give up. <laughs> if we have the mini gun, we could do it. Let's see if we can get one close enough to do a drive by. Back for the Valyrian. A little bit close to the, the dirt there. She's doing fine. Took a little hit on the back. Did rupture compartment. That's fine. What is wrong with you guys? Why are you guys doing no damage? Okay, this could be a very bad idea. If I just changed you to a heat head and like clear clips. Not even a lot of explosive damage. What if we did frag? Not flag. Frag. Let's try that. Oh, it's storming. Darn, it's storming pretty bad, actually. Where the John Dalton not storming nearly as bad over here. There we go. Finally, AI dead. Go back home though. Not time to get a new destroyer yet. We need to build another amphibious base. So let me get a support vehicle, and I want this drone. Okay, he cannot carry the most in the world. Uh, let me see exactly how much he can carry. He can carry 62 grand. He has some minor building capabilities, but that's about all. Same design as the spy drone. Just without the little thingy on the back. Go ahead and capture some more land. I would like to make at least another one. Might as well get two, in fact. Another two spy, spy planes. Let's send you all the way north with the destroyer fleet. We have some protection. And let's send another one right about there. We got Duster inbound as well. So let me get to not one, but two more fighter planes. Oh no, no way he got there that fast. Um. Could be bad, we could lose a drone here. That would suck. Okay. Both of you guys deploy. Thankfully our interceptor has some speed and he was able to get there in time. Let's see, are you gonna hit? Duster's down, down, down. It didn't lock on quite right. 
We can sit up here. Is he gonna hit? Nope. Nope. Everything missed again. <laughs> the AI really needs to work on its attack runs. <laughs> They're horrible. Let's see, I think these ones locked on. Nice. He's dead. Beautiful. Let's get this other one. Defender of the satellites. I don't know where he is. Just track one of the missiles. Nope. You gotta point him at the, the plane. Come on now, AI. There we go. Some good shots. AI dead. Love to see it. We could move east again and take out that i think that's actually what we'll start doing oh yeah um where's the logistics drone here you are you were supposed to build something my bad first thing we got is this foul came oh no okay they're dusters <laughs> yeah two dusters shouldn't be any challenge Again, we've already seen the Atlas before, so. I don't know what the missiles... The missiles got confused. They didn't know who to go for. They all picked a different target, it looks like. Both the dusters. Here they come. It looks like... We're not too, the missiles aren't too worried about the duster right now. The Atlas on 77, Valkyrie now on 81. You should be going down any moment now. Most, the thing I'm mostly worried about is the dusters. They're basically three hits on us until we take care of the bigger ones, the bigger ships. Watching them, waiting for them to drop their bombs. There goes the rear, rear Sea Wiz on this ship. John Dalton is taking some damage. Atlas is dead. Valkyrie should be dying any moment here. I see a nice missile launch on this thing. I don't know if we can get it though. Yeah, those missiles didn't pick up a heat signature. She's done for. I think we already got one of the dusters too. No way those missiles are making that turn. Last duster, one wing. Missile. Oh. Hit it one. Yep, those missiles aren't hitting. He's avoiding everything. And she's dead. Nice little battle. No problem. Let's go ahead and move eastward. If you have a satellite we can bring with us, we do. Things looking fine. We got a casket vault coming in from the south. Ain't worried about it right now. That hoplite up north. What are you going to do? Okay, he's just trying to intercept. Get away from the shore. These guys will need to return home soonish. See, are those missiles in range? They're firing, so they should be. Here they come. Big hits. Ripping her to shreds. Another volley of missiles, all hitting on that back left wing. It's a shame because means most of the fragments missed. Big hit. Down she goes. Probably gonna have to send you back soon. You're, you're just not doing well. It's the grouper, correct? Yep. She shouldn't be alive much longer. Big missile hits. Down she goes. Looks like there was a duster. Looks like the Falcon did drop a duster. Um, this little fishing village is quite quaint. Glad to see it go. Okay. Oh no. 
This could be could be bad. We can't get in range quick enough. We lost a satellite. We will immediately avenge it though. Now we want the casket bolt is actively running from us. I'm gonna go kill this hoplite instead. Before we could fight the casket bolt, this Orca got us. Let's see if we can take care of him real quick. Our fleet is being ran ragged though. Here's the Orca. Taking heavy fire, there we go. Not a chance. I don't even know if we got to fire any weapons. Poor thing. <laughs> Beautiful. Barely wasted any ammo on it. Hopefully another quick kill. Don't want any of my ships taking any damage. Here's the patchwork. Already taking major damage. Big cram shot. And it misses, thankfully. We don't have any Seawas anymore. They took out both gun or both ships Seawas, so do have to rely on our speed, our maneuverability. Looks like that one got deflected. Missiles inbound. Nice hit. Karam keeps bouncing off the superstructure. <laughs> It's hilarious. Here comes another missile volley. Got its paddle wheel. She's going down. Okay, stop paying attention for a second. We actually captured all this land over here. Let's go ahead and start moving people forward then. <laughs> These guys really need <laughs> to go back to port. At least for a little bit, but just not getting the opportunity to send him back. Let's go ahead and intercept this guy. Make him stop. That way we can get him with our destroyers before he goes overland. Here is the casket vault. Once we get some shots off on him, he shouldn't be alive too much longer. Like some missiles are in the air. Let's see if they hit. Oh, he's going down for the missiles that can come in. Got a couple in to finish him off. Hopefully, I'm able to build the port around the fleet. <laughs> Not the fleet. I have to go back because I really don't want to send them back. Gained quite a bit of land, and I'd like to keep it. Let's hope the Phoenix can defeat the Hoplite. No, come on, dodge those missiles. Nice. Let's go ahead and load in the vehicle. Let me move a little bit away. Let's load in vehicle. Let's get a, another destroyer. And then we can swap out. You know, we could just send one up. Instead of having to send the whole fleet back home. Let's try to fight these 1v1. Here's a Palkim dropping his birds. So for a nice quick takedown, just like that, she's sinking. She may even hit one of her birds. Oh, no, she, she's staying up, actually. Surprising. Got a bird. Come on, let's get the second duster. Oh, she's done firing. She don't feel like shooting anymore. I think they're both dead. Yep. Everybody's gone. Okay, now it's time for the Atlas to get some... I mean, this fleet is just a menace. I'm gonna put up on screen the total kill count of this fleet. It is having the time of its life. Another Atlas you can add to the kill log. And with that, I think it's a good time to end this first episode. 
hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.